Christine Elizabeth. I have been doing this channel for over six years. And if you saw it from the beginning, first of all, you can tell it's a very humbling journey. If you look back at the first episode, don't stop and do it now, but maybe take a look and just see what a journey can look like. Today, I really specifically want to focus on how we can get out of our default mode and be more intentional, especially starting a new day. A new day means we have new choices, we have new opportunities, and a lot of it has to do with just that, our choices and how we decide to look at the world. So if we don't want to default to yesterday's choices, we need to be intentional. In the past videos, I've been focusing very specifically on three things that you can do in order to help you to make better choices every day. And there is a proverb that says that you cannot stand, step into the same river twice, which means that if you put your foot in, by the time you put your other foot in, that water has been rushing by and that environment that your foot, your second foot is in is not the same environment that your first foot is in. So every choice that you make, every healthy choice that you make for yourself, where you are putting yourself first, because we had to put the oxygen mask on ourselves before we help others, is going to change you. Every day, we are going to slowly become something that our choices are making us. So you have a choice. Do you see the vision of who you want to become? That's great. Let's make those choices. If your answer to that was no, not yet, well, that's great too, because at least you thought about it and your mind's going to be on the alert for who you want to become. So today, and it happens to be morning for me, I specifically want to talk about the choices of the things that we put in our ears, our eyes, and in our stomachs. This morning, I did something that I haven't done in a long time. I, it's been a very transient uh, period for me, and I'll be honest, I've been doing a lot of you know, grabbing quick bites to eat, not junk food because I got out of that a long time ago when I realized how badly I felt after I ate the junk food and the fast food and things like that. Every now and again, I'll do that with my kids, but it's really more of an every now and again, and it's not the rule. It's the exception. So this morning I had this great opportunity. I had the house to myself and I just wanted to do something very special. So I knew I was going to have oatmeal this morning because I know things like putting fiber into my body is a really good choice. Um, I can't have wheat. So I know that that's also a good choice for me. And sometimes I do eggs, but I just decided today I was going to mix it up. Recently, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who is very health focused and very uh, nutrient and supplement wise. And I was telling him a specific issue that I was ha having. And he was sharing with me that he had a similar issue and that he had to increase his antioxidants. And I thought, wow, okay, that sounds great. Um, I'll start doing things like that to help. And I'll see because obviously... If you try new things, you can see what the effects are. So this morning I made a bowl of oatmeal and I threw in some blueberries. I threw in some walnuts, um, some sesame seeds, strawberries, bananas. It was delicious. I even put in some dried cranberries because that's really good for antioxidants. And then I made, um, which I am still sipping on. This is a uh, a recipe that Dr. Amen, well, it's a little tweaked recipe, Daniel Amen, he says that at night he makes himself and his wife a cup of almond milk cocoa. So it's really simple. You just have non unsweetened almond milk and you put a table or a teaspoon of cocoa mix in there. So unsweetened cocoa. And so for me, that was a little bit, I was missing out on the sweetness. And, you know, some people have a, a longer journey to go in health because of where they started out. So I did put just probably a teaspoon of honey in it. And I like a little kick. So I added a little bit of, of cayenne pepper to it also. So it's my own little twist on that. But I get to sip on this and it's really good. And it has antioxidants. The cocoa has antioxidants. So the things about what I put in my, that's what I put in my stomach this morning. And that's going to help me to run differently than I would had I maybe run through a, a, a fast food or even a, just a bowl of cereal. Those things don't have all the nutrients that my body needs. <laughs> I need 
to be very conscious of what it is I'm putting in my body because every year that goes by, I am more and more aware that my endurance is a little bit more of a struggle. So I have to counter that with what I put in my body according to what it needs personally. So it's a good thing. I In the past, I've gone for for blood work to see what my body is not producing as far as uh, vitamins. And I have supplemented with vitamins according to that as well. So what we put in our ears. Well, again, in the past, I would just put anything that had a really good beat. I was mortified one day to find myself singing along with this song that I did not really know the lyrics, but I love the beat. And when I slowed down and I heard one of the lines, I was compelled to look up the song and read more of the lines. And I just, as I said, mortified that I was humming along and singing along. I wasn't singing the right lyrics the first time to a song that I totally disagree with. There are words that were used. There are genres that are, are referenced that I completely at my very core disagree with. So now I'm very intentional. Even when I watch videos on a video search engine like YouTube or Vimeo, I will specifically look for the song with the lyrics so that I make sure that what I'm putting in my ears is not, which is really going into my heart, is not contradictive to what I believe or what I want to possess in my heart. So the same thing for our eyes. What is it that we're looking at? Now, I am super blessed that I have a lovely backyard right now. And actually right outside of my window, there's these lush green colors. Well, that's not the only thing that I can focus on. So if we can't go and look out our own windows, um, maybe there's a park nearby. But even in the morning, we can still put something on, um, on TV, on our phones, whatever social media that we want that is going to edify us, that's going to build us up, that's going to be encouraging. So a lot of times I'll, I'll see verses that are behind really great um, visuals. Uh, I'll look on my friends' Facebook channels. I don't have a lot of friends that I follow that, uh, actually, I probably don't have any friends that I follow that put negative feed up because that's just, it doesn't jive with me. It's bad for my, my, um, my eyes and my heart, just the same way that weed is bad for my stomach and my, my functioning. So I want to give some, uh, headers for that. So one thing that I do is I take a fruit and a vegetable pill every morning. That was the beginning of my journey. And if you're interested in that, that was an investment that I decided that I had to make for myself as well as my kids. And this company was great because if you buy one for adults, you get one for the kids for free. So it's fantastic. I'll put that link in the description below. Other food influencers, because again, I've been on this journey for a long time, but just the same way you wouldn't just throw everything together when you're building a house, you won't go about building, rebuilding your life that way either. You're going to do things. You're going to lay a good foundation. Then you're going to put the studs up or the two by fours. Or I'm, I am not uh, an architect and I don't know anything about building. So I'm not going to use the proper terms, <laughs> but you're not going to do the electrical, the plumbing, um, the walls, the, the roof. You're not going to do those out of order. You're going to do it in a very specific order. So where I started was, like I said, it was in with, fruit and um, fruit and vegetable uh, pills that I take. But moving into the fruit food portion, as far as cooking goes, this is one of my heroes, top heroes. If you've never seen this show, it's fantastic. And Jamie Oliver has an incredible passion for teaching people about health because he saw a problem. He saw this wrong education about food. He saw how marketing was steering us as a society in the wrong direction. He saw how our critical thinking is not really what it should be. He saw how schools were not taught anymore how to cook. At homes, we have two parents that are both working and so we don't get that education and he wanted to do something about it. And I mean, I'm just so enamored by what he has done. He is he has such a big heart. So Jamie Oliver has done a lot um, in that. And so I trust him. He has put his 
well, really his money where his mouth is. He went above and beyond even to come to America. He's not from here. He's from uh, Europe. He came here from the UK specifically. He came to, to America to teach school cafeteria personnel how to cook healthier options because what is going into our mouths and to our stomachs is making an impact in our brains. And we don't always think about that, but it is true. So uh, Dr. Daniel uh, Amen is also another person. He is, again, the author of my delicious drink. And uh, he also is, he's a researcher, he's a, a psychiatrist, a neuropsychologist, or a psychiatrist specifically. So he focuses on what the brain does in response to different things. And I, again, huge, he's a huge hero in what he's doing uh, for the for people who are diagnosed and unfortunately just kind of tossed away sometimes. Do you know what that means? Have you felt that before? I definitely have. So, uh, and the last thing that I want to share as far as influence, there's an app that I have on my phone. It's called Fit On. It has great tips and tools. Now, I'm. this is not uh, an exhaustive list. I mean, there's only three things on the list, but this is what I'm using personally. These are people that I look up to. And again, on certain different, uh, certain levels of, of what I'm doing right now, I'm not at that stage in my journey. So I might have had better nutrition as far as the supplements and, and um, knowing what not to put in my body anymore. But as far as cooking goes, that's again, something that I think I got home ec for, I don't know, that one semester back in junior high. So I don't know what good that does for me right now. And we made cakes and things like that. So uh, peanut brittle. Peanut brittle was a big favorite because I would make that for Christmas for people. Sorry to everybody who I harmed that way. Okay. Uh, the last thing that I want to say is we need to improve our critical thinking. We need to surround ourselves by educators. And here's the difference. An educator will present you with choices. A dictator will tell you what to do. That sounds super harsh, and I don't necessarily mean it to be, but I want to make a statement by saying, I don't want to tell you what to do. I want to offer you more choices. Uh, Dr. Amen said that a doctor is not supposed to tell you what to do. He is supposed to educate you to provide you with more choices so that you, as the consumer, as the patient, as the client, can make a good choice that's right for you. So I hope that you've enjoyed what I've shared with you about making better choices, being intentional with your day, especially how the day starts. So put some good music on if you're listening to this in the morning or if you're listening tonight, even better, make a plan for how you're gonna to start tomorrow and share it in the comments below. Have a great one.